Yes, gooey cheese. The new gooey and chorito, starting at just 99 cents for a limited time. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 food items that don't exist anymore. Mmm, cheesecake. What? This is heaven. For this list, we're looking at a whole array of foods ranging from fast food favorites, store-bought snacks, candy, and cereals that are sadly no longer widely available. Which of these foods do you desperately need back in your life? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Oreo Cakesters. Billy's got an Oreo Cakester. Billy's got an Oreo Cakester. They're like Oreos, but cakey. If that description turns you off, then maybe you're too young to remember Oreo Cakesters in their heyday. That's because this Oreo experiment was more than just an Oreo cookies snack cake hybrid. Really, Brian? What? Dunking Oreo Cakesters? Come on, buddy. You know that dunking is for Oreo cookies only. Dad, this is the Oreo of snack cakes. It was made for dunking. There was a fluffy indulgence to the creamy filling that tasted a bit more executive than your average double stuff, while the cake itself was softer and more spongy than it had any right to be, honestly. Did Oreo Cakesters feel like the cookie company was trying to go for that sweet, sweet hostess money? Maybe. We weren't complaining. Bring these back. New Oreo Cakesters. Oreo cream sandwiched between two moist chocolate cakes. This is big. Number 19. Ice Cream Cone Cereal. Sugar-loaded cereals are like crack for kids. So it's only natural that the sickeningly sweet brands are the ones we're going to remember most fondly. Case in point, ice cream cone cereal. Sold by General Mills in the late 80s when companies were not even bothering to pretend that the cereal they were peddling was healthy, ice cream cones consisted of puffed sweet treats that tasted like your favorite flavors of ice cream, chocolate chip, vanilla, and chocolate. Little golden sugar cone shaped triangles stood in for the cones to complete the visual effect. They only lasted a year in their original run, though it was brought back for a one-time deal in 2003 for the ice cream cone's 100th anniversary, and General Mills introduced drumstick cereal in 2019. But 1987 was still the sweetest year of them all. Number 18. Cheetos Twisted It's geometry time! Snackometry time! It may seem as if there's a new flavor of Cheetos available every week. So, you'd be forgiven if you didn't notice that Cheetos Twisted no longer exist. New Twisted Cheetos Snacks. These curly Q-shaped Cheeto snacks were thicker, meaning more of that finger-staining cheese dust to coat your fingers. They also arrived armed with that patented Cheetos Crunch and were available from around 2002 to 2012, but all good things must eventually come to an end. The Cheetos folks discontinued their Twisted brand, but never fear because the company is bound to create something similar down the line. Number 17. McDonald's Arch Deluxe The Arch Deluxe was a deluxe flop. I was going to say that. Me too. <laughs> so obvious. McDonald's had been growing a reputation as a restaurant for children, and they created the Arch Deluxe to combat this notion. Made specifically for adults, it contained a quarter-pound burger with all the typical toppings, plus a special sauce mixed from mustard and mayonnaise. Mmm, the soft, comforting potato roll. I'm in the zone. The chain launched a massive marketing campaign to promote the burger, and released it nationwide in the spring of 1996. Unfortunately, it proved an enormous bomb owing to its premium price and high caloric count. I even get to make the Arch Deluxe. After $300 million spent in research, development, and marketing, McDonald's discontinued the Arch Deluxe in August of 2000. If it were any more grown up, we'd need to check your ID. Number 16. Shake 'em Up Fries It's amazing what fast food companies will do to capture the attention of children. Take some standard fries, add a packet of flavoring, and bam! Shake 'em Up Fries. Thanks for your money. There's so many ways you can shake them up, like the jackhammer shake. The helicopter shake. You can simply dump in your fries, add as much delicious cheese flavor as you like, then shake and eat. Back in 2002, Burger King introduced this item, which was essentially fries with a packet of cheese powder that allowed kids to make the so-called cheesy fries. It was a fun little novelty, but not much else. And like most novelties, the fun quickly wore off, and the shake 'em up fries were discontinued as quickly as they appeared. They now exist solely in the nostalgic recesses of 90s kids everywhere. Number 15, the Dairy Queen Breeze. If you love frozen yogurt, the new breeze will really blow you away! The Blizzard is a Dairy Queen mainstay and has remained as such since its introduction in 1985. The company sold 100 million blizzards in its first year alone, 
and people continuously flock to the chain to get their hands on the soft serve treat. Our famous Blizzard is on sale now for just 99 cents. Or get a breeze made with non-fat frozen yogurt, same price. So good. Five years after its inception, Dairy Queen attempted a low-calorie frozen yogurt alternative called the Breeze, which was said to have 10 fewer calories per ounce. The delicious blended fresh Breeze frozen yogurt treat, now just $1.39. We treat you right. The breeze lasted over a decade, but never reached the cultural heights of its denser predecessor, and was discontinued in 2001 owing to a lack of demand. Number 14. Volcano Burrito Introduced in 1995 as a tie-in to the movie Congo, the Volcano Burrito came equipped with the standard ground beef, shredded cheese, rice, red tortilla strips, and a special lava sauce. If you're hungry for excitement, get the new Volcano Burrito at Taco Bell. But hurry, at just 99 cents, a taste eruption like this won't be active for long. It disappeared following the promotion, but was brought back in the spring of 2009, where it was placed on the so-called Volcano Menu, alongside the Volcano Taco. Want one? Oh, great, great. Look at you. You're a mess. Relax. I got covered. It was a very popular item, and even to this day, people are trying to replicate the delicious lava sauce at home. Unfortunately, the Volcano Menu was scrapped in 2012, and the Volcano Burrito disappeared the following year. <laughs> Don't look at me. That said, it can reportedly still be found in Britain, South Korea, and Iceland. Number 13. S'mores Grams, aka S'mores Crunch. Ice cream is great, but maybe you gravitated more towards the serialized, deconstructed version of this late night camping fireside snack. General Mills has shrunk down many a treat over the years. Some have stood the test of time, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, while others, like French Toast Crunch, were discontinued, only to be revived due to popular demand. Make it homemade taste. I like it. Sadly, this particular offering, which boldly threw marshmallows into the mix without even bothering to disguise them as something else, is no longer available. It ran from 1982 to 1988 and was briefly brought back in the 90s, only to get the axe again. Number 12. Yogos. Kellogg's Yogos just got hit with watermelon splash flavor. Part fruity flavor, part yogurty coating. New watermelon splash flavor Yogos. Worlds of fun. Parents will often do just about anything to get their kids to eat healthy. But even the busiest folks have their limits. Yogos weren't trying to masquerade as healthy fruit or yogurt, but instead were sugary fruit flavored snacks with a yogurt coating on top. They were an acquired taste to say the least, but millennials were on that taste back when they were kids, as Yogos seemed to be on top between 2005 and the beginning of the 2010s. Smogo on the Yogo. Chewy, sweet, sour, and available in varieties of berry flavors, Yogos were perhaps too unique for this world, and burned so bright that they could never be brought back. Ah, what a blast! It's like new Go Go Gorilla Mix. Seriously rough stuff. Number 11. Philadelphia Cheesecake Snack Bars. Ooh, Philly Snack Bars. Hey, ever think to yourself, I've been good. Why shouldn't I have cheesecake for a snack? Mm, cheesecake. What? This is heaven. No? It was just us? Yeah, well. We have no regrets about devouring this indulgent snack from the Philadelphia people. Small, snack-sized cheesecake squares available to eat any hour of the day. You want the graham cracker bottom? You get the graham cracker bottom. You want sweet icing and fruit laced over that thick cheesecake deliciousness? Shut the front door and eat these slices of heaven in private because we guarantee you're gonna have a moment. We can only hope and pray that the next time we stroll by our grocer's freezer, this classic snack will be staring back at us. Treat yourself to the rich and creamy cheesecake taste of Philadelphia snack bars. Here you go, Fluffy. They're a little taste of heaven. Number 10, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Cereal. Yes, General Mills has released a modern TMNT-themed cereal inspired by the animated Nickelodeon series, but that is not the cereal we want. This show, as well as the contemporary live-action films, may resonate with the youth, but we are here in the name of nostalgia, and for 80s and 90s kids, few properties hit the mark like our favorite heroes in a half shell. Featuring our beloved animated crime fighters on the box, this cereal, true to its namesake, was an odd hybrid that combines a base cereal similar to Chex with Lucky Charm-style marshmallows. And you know what? It was totally awesome. Hey, Redhead, wanna help put all the marshmallows back? Uh, these guys can handle it. Number nine, Hershey's Bites. 
The Hershey's Company has so many delicious snacks under their belt, it's easy to forget that there's also plenty of forgotten classics. Hershey's Swoops were one, but the penultimate spot on our list goes to the much-missed Hershey's Bites. No, not the candy bites, but this even crunchier and more snackable concoction that came in a variety of flavors. Hey, look who just showed up! Introducing new Kit Kat and Heath Bites. You get the feeling everyone is staring at us. What, is my bag open? Rolos, Kit Kats, peppermint patties, and more were all shrunk down and packaged in a size that was perfectly geared for guzzling. Unfortunately, they posed a choking hazard for some, and most of the line was discontinued. However, Hershey's website does say that limited flavors can be purchased direct, but don't go scouring store shelves for this one. Number 8. Cap'n Crunch's Oops Choco Donuts It's a thin line that companies need to walk when trying to market cereal based on baked goods to kids. Parents can seemingly accept sweet treat-based products, as long as they're inspired by traditional breakfast dishes like French toast or cinnamon toast. But when the concept is something like ice cream or, as is the case here, donuts, it's a little harder to swallow. Parents be damned, though. These were awesome. With the familiar face of Cap'n Crunch on the box, these chocolate cereal rings garnished with sprinkles were a home run with the kids. Sadly, they were also too good for this world and were discontinued. Number 7. Keebler Magic Middles An idea that will change the cookie world forever! Melted chocolatey middles in the cookies! Too late, we just did it! New Keebler Magic Middles. If there were ever a snack cookie king, this was the one. The mighty Keebler elves truly outdid themselves when they magically concocted the recipe for the perfect treat. Caught him smuggling melted chocolatey filling out of your factory. Tree. Pretty clever. <laughs> he hid it inside this chocolate chip cookie. Oh, you mean Keebler Magic Middles? The shortbread wasn't too sweet and held its integrity against that chocolatey or peanut buttery flavor core that burst onto your taste buds with the force of a fudgy freight train. Oh, and if you warmed these bad boys in the microwave for a few seconds, absolute heaven. We're not sure if we can go all the way to the top of the Keebler elf hierarchy for some answers, but we are desperate for Magic Middles to be made available again. New Magic Middles from Keebler. Genius, pure genius. Number 6. McRib What'd you say this was again? McDonald's calls it the McRib Sandwich. It's a new kind of cue. It's unfair to say that the McRib doesn't exist anymore. Rather, it's been made a seasonal favorite in the vein of Starbucks Pumpkin Spice Latte. Invented by René Aran, the same man who made Chicken McNuggets, the McRib was introduced as a limited time item in 1981. And with a big acid coke, it's where you're only human, on that it's home. The good time, great taste. <laughs> Unfortunately, it suffered a few years of disappointing sales and was permanently taken off the menu four years later. It was nationally revived in 1994 as a tie-in promotion with the Flintstones movie and has remained a seasonal item ever since. It's typically brought back in the fall, with some theorizing that its return coincides with the seasonally low price of pork. But you don't need to be told that, because a calendar reminder already did. Number 5. Bell Beefer Serving as Taco Bell's answer to hamburger joints, the Bell Beefer was a sloppy Joe-like burger with ground beef, onions, lettuce, and a special sauce. Nothing fancy, but it certainly gets the job done. Introduced in the 60s as the Chili Burger, the Bell Beefer enjoyed initial success but quickly fell by the wayside. It just sort of stuck around for a while, not popular enough to be a bestseller but not poor enough to be cut from the menu. But when Taco Bell transitioned to the Tex-Mex style in the late 80s and early 90s, the Bell Beefer finally got the boot. It made a brief resurgence in 2012 as part of the dollar menu, but this too has disappeared. Number 4. Waffle Taco Taco Bell wanted to get in on the breakfast market, and their first order of business was the Waffle Taco. The next generation of breakfast is here. Introducing the Waffle Taco, eggs and sausage wrapped up in a waffle. Consisting of a folded waffle, bacon or sausage, scrambled eggs, and a drizzle of syrup, the Waffle Taco was a truly bizarre concoction, even for those used to silly fast food novelties. Waffle Taco, the chain's answer to the iconic McMuffin. We did it in a uniquely Taco Bell way. We're going to do something a little bit different. And so that's how we think that we have a, a great chance. Unfortunately, it didn't look good from the outset, with Chief Marketing Officer Chris Brandt ambiguously stating, quote, some of the things on our menu might run out of gas. That proved to be the case, as the waffle taco was discontinued just one year after its inception, having been replaced with the biscuit taco. Number 3. Encherito 
The source of Taco Bell's Enchirito remains disputed, with various franchise owners and even a high school student from Montebello receiving credit. It's gooey, it's gooey, it's your old friend Enchirito, just 99 cents for a limited time. The Enchirito appeared in the 60s, when one could buy an Enchirito, a taco, and a drink for 89 cents, which is about $7 today. It was composed of a tortilla, ground beef, beans, onions, and cheese. Yes, gooey cheese. It was officially discontinued in 1993, but brought back later that decade following intense demand. Unfortunately, it was once again taken off the menu in 2013 and has remained off ever since. With that said, customers can reportedly still order one owing to its traditional ingredients and easy construction. Number 2. Burger King Ribs Ribs were the last thing people expected from a fast food joint like Burger King, and it was this novelty that made them a phenomenon. Back in May of 2010, Burger King introduced racks of ribs to their menu, charging customers $8.99 to get their hands on the smoky goodness. Believe it, bone-in fire-grilled barbecue ribs slow-cooked and smoky from Burger King. And while some balked at the premium price, others flocked to their local franchise to give them a try. In fact, the promotion proved so successful that they were forced to cut it short owing to a lack of product. Ravenous customers had eaten their entire supply, but despite the obvious demand, the ribs have never been brought back. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. McPizza There once was a time when you could order pizza from an everyday McDonald's. Introduced in the 80s, the McPizza, as it was creatively called, was instantly mocked by consumers and competitors alike, with Pizza Hut even calling it the McFrozen. What is it for me, Mom? I don't deserve it. Family-sized pepperoni pizza. It's a parent's dream come true. And while it proved to be a somewhat popular novelty item, it was never really able to shed its reputation, and it was permanently pulled from the menu in the late 90s. McDonald's claims that the McPizza was discontinued owing to its long cook times, as each pizza took upwards of 10 minutes to make. Talk about a drive through clogger. I'm 99 Pizza, with love from McDonald's. However, those willing to make a trip to Orlando, Florida will find the last McDonald's in the world still serving the McPizza. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.